Welcome back, Tenno. Alphalance here with the leaderboard, back for another round of Warframe. With so many different kinds of frames in the game and so many different ways to play them, it was agonizing to only focus on a third of the bullet jumping, relic cracking, Eidolon hunting powerhouses. We just couldn't stay away. Determined to highlight even more frames, we did our Oricon Volt runs, ranked up our syndicates, and hit the marketplaces to scrounge up enough platinum to buy 12 more slots. So with a dozen more frames hot out the foundry, let's dive right in with part two of our What Does Your War frames say about you series. Atlas. Oh, Atlas players, the world was a beast of a burden, and you've been holding on for a long time, but your prayers have finally been answered. Atlas was a long maligned frame for not really working all that well. A few months ago, playing Atlas meant you were either very dedicated to this look or the idea of punching things. You loved them so much that you would play Atlas despite his whole kit just not really working. But the wait is over. Now Atlas is an unstoppable punching machine who loves grinding enemies into a fine powder that keeps you alive to, well, continue punching. Atlas players are ones who love using their frames abilities over more traditional weaponry, and you'll probably see allied Atlas frames landslide punching everything they can see. So just don't leave them in the dust, because Atlas mains are all too familiar with the struggle to make it to extraction on time. Nidus. Nidus. The Infestation Sensation is a Warframe for players who love big numbers and long missions. If you load into a defense or survival mission with a Nidus, be prepared for the long haul. Nidus shines brightest when you have a lot of time to let their abilities stack out of control. There's nothing more satisfying than watching your frame change shape as your abilities get stronger and stronger, flooding the area with parasitic growths and huge larvae. While some lesser frames quake in fear at the 40 minute long survival mission, Nidus players are fearless because they know Nidus is nigh destructible with his parasitic link. They know they can just keep going and going and going. Try not to get too disappointed though when your non-Nidus team tries to extract before you hit 100 stacks though. They're just afraid. Nova. Aside from being the most requested frame for this part 2, Nova is also the frame that can be used in the most circumstances. Nova is an incredible frame that can do it all. Long survival missions, no problem. Farming rare resources, easy. Destroying Eidolons and other gigantic boss monsters, <laughs> snore. Nova is a destruction machine, a nuclear bomb with legs and a sword capable of destroying just about anything and everything. A Nova is always useful no matter what you're doing, and Nova players know it. They utilize all of their build slots so that Nova is always properly set up for whatever they're looking to do, and they're going to be able to do it as quickly as humanly possible. Nova is also a frame that players get really into. Nova can be built early into the game, and she's really good for, well, the rest of the entire game. Nova players are ride or die Nova fans, and honestly, we're all better for it. Hydroid. Your mates, everyone's favorite treasure hoarding pirate is here. Much like Atlas, Hydroid has found newfound usage after balance updates and new augment mods. No longer stuck in the murky depths of bottom tier, Hydroid has become a frame with a very valuable niche. If you're a Hydroid fan, you probably love set niche, seeing as it fits in with this whole pirate shtick. He's one of the most useful frames for farming loads and loads and loads of loot. So teams with the Hydroid are sure to rake in the credits, Oxium, Holomer bundles, whatever else. Hydroid players are also probably besties with a Necros player, as the two of them team up to be the ultimate treasure collection agency in the game. And let's not forget that Hydroid also specializes in clearing defensive mission types like excavation and survival, so his treasure accumulation engine is also always sailing with favorable winds. Hope you've got a blueprint you're looking to build, because Hydroid will get you there quicker than you think. Harrow. Dark Priest Harrow is an oddball of a frame for players who want a little something different from their Warframe experience. He's a tough frame to acquire with blueprints hidden deep into the game, so first time Harrow players have already seen a lot. His abilities would make you think he's a support frame at first, but don't be fooled. Harrow is a ritualistic destruction machine that leverages all of his abilities to chain enemies down in a well-designed combo. In fact, most Harrow players would probably work best when they can work alone in peace, where they can control exactly what's happening around them. Well, you know, as at peace as you can be twirling a howling thurible and self-flagellating to sacrifice shields for power. If you're playing with a harrow on your team, consider sitting back to watch the magic happen next time. 
Who knows? You might be converted into the Dark Priesthood yourself. Step into the shadows, Tenno. All are welcome here. We have cookies, Tenno. Neja. Neja is a frame that naysayers argue is just a budget rhino. And while yes, Neja has similar setups to Rhino's Iron Skin, Neja has a lot more going on than just that, okay? Neja isn't just a tank, he can make the rest of your team tanks too. When's the last time you saw Rhino spread the love, huh? But Neja players have more options than just copying Rhino. A Neja using a divine spear based build can speed run missions, farm big rooms quickly, and can be used as a useful crowd control frame on longer missions. Also, Neja has a leg up in what everyone knows is the true endgame. The fashion frame tech is off the hook. For real, I mean, the Yasha skin? It's pretty much one of the best in the game. Sorry, I don't make the rules, it's just how it is. Mesa, the sci-fi deadeye, likes to dish out damage in the punishing style of the Old West. Being expert crack shots, they pinpoint threats and dispatch them with grit and efficiency. Mesa players, especially longtime ones, are hardcore number crunchers with their mods, always searching for that sweet spot for their main stats. Do they leave narrow mind a few ranks from full to save some range? Is using vitality worth it over even more damage? A lot of frames have to answer these kinds of questions, but Mesa players split hair with narrow margins to get their builds exactly right. And not for nothing, too. It all pays off when Mesa players cast Peacemaker and suddenly the entire room of Infested dies simultaneously. Trust them on it, chances are they've done the math in just about every other way they can. Limbo. The master of time in a brand new prime, as of the filming of this video, Limbo can be, let's say, a contentious frame among his teammates. Limbo has some of the most interesting abilities in Warframe, complete with interdimensional capabilities, time stasis, and the ability to banish enemies to the Shadow Realm, I mean, another dimension. Limbo's kit can be put to great use anywhere areas need to be controlled, like interception and the fence. However, while some of Limbo's coolest abilities put enemies on hold, they can also put some of your teammates' attacks on hold at the same time. Stasis is particularly annoying, as it even stops your allies' attacks with the area of effect. What's a Tenno to do? A smart Limbo player knows exactly where and when to use their abilities so that they can be the most efficient in helping their team. If you've paired with a less discerning Limbo, just remember that your melee attacks always work in the Rift, and try not to get too grumpy. They'll get there. Saren. The queen of all things nasty and deadly, Saren was recently reworked into a deadly toxin spreading machine. Notably, her kit now allows her to spread reliable status effect procs that quickly decimate enemies in a vast range. Saren players might not even see half of the enemies they're destroying. Having a Saren on your team lets you know that as long as she's got energy, you'll be fighting off enemies with the flick of your finger. A Saren player isn't interested in playing fair. She wants to strip away all of the enemies' pesky health and armor before they even get started. Her rework only makes this easier to do because of how her spores are now spread. Saren players are living large in this brave new world, so keep her charged up. Trinity players go become best friends with a Saren player, so the two of you can eradicate entire tile sets like the power couple you are always meant to be. Oberyn. Oberyn, the goat god of the grove, is a warframe that you probably have at least a part or two of lying around. Players who have managed to dig up every piece of Oberyn have a frame that doubles as a supportive tank and assassin for a very specific set of targets. Think of him as the big brother that will help you out, but also will beat up your bullies. You'll never be short of health with Oberyn around, as nearly everything he does will either directly heal you or make enemies drop more health pickups for you. That being said, you're most likely to see an Oberyn when you're strong enough to hunt the Eidolons on the plains at night. Oberyn is at the top of the short list of best frames to hunt Eidolons, and for good reason. Oberyn's hollowed ground can keep your team safe from an Eidolon's nastiest status effects, while also taking care of pesky ads to keep your team focused on the fight. So whether you're downing titans or hordes of Grenier, remember, when Oberyn's around, keep your feet on the glowing ground. Ash. Ash is a stealth warframe with a host of things that let him excel in spy missions, like his partner in crime, Loki. However, unlike Loki, who is tricky and disruptive to the enemy, Ash is more like a shinobi assassin type. Like Saren, you Ash players probably love shredding the armor off of enemies to then follow up with the stealth damage bonus your invisibility grants you. Ash players are quick to duck out of a room once they've done what they need to. Since their kits are packed with combos that leave enemies dead or dying, Ash players are free to move on from their attacks with the speed they crave. Also, you probably stick with Ash because Bladestorm is just so f***ing cool.
You probably used Ash before Bladestorm was reworked to be even stronger. And when it was, ha! Oh, hallelujah, Hail Mary, and thanks to the Lotus. Now you can be cool and strong? Count me in. Vauban. Warframe's very own master engineer Vauban is a master of crowd control and keeping objectives protected. Vauban players know their abilities inside and out better than most frames do. That's because they have to pay a lot more attention to where they drop their abilities down. Spacing is distressingly important when playing Vauban. When need to laying down a Bastille or Vortex, Vauban players know exactly on the tile sets what's better and what's worse, especially their survival or defensive ones. Vauban players, especially long-time ones, are also likely experts at picking out specific threatening enemies like the Nullifier or Ancient Disruptors, since these are some of the few enemies that can disrupt Vauban's mighty machines. Vauban players have developed a spider sense, or Vauban sense, for quickly hunting down such enemies to keep their traps in perfect working order, but they can't be in two places at once. Please help your allied Vaubans out. Please stick inside the big glowing grid ring and wipe out any other big glowing enemies for them. Well, if none of these Warframes really speak to you, check out our first video and try to find a frame you'll stick with. I'm Alpha Lance with the Leaderboard, and thanks for watching your home for video game facts.